Greetings, goons, gangsters, and gamers. It's your boy, The Goods Tonight. Today we're doing our review on submachine gun chest rig. In particular, the Whiskey 2.4 Turnkey SMG version. They do make a rifle version as well, but today we're talking about SMGs. SMGs have always been sort of one of those things that's a huge pain in pretty much everything to find magazine pouches for. So in this case, we went around the line of, uh, was it the Spirit of Systems or uh, in the... Uh, Haley strategic, sort of like micro chest rig sort of setup, except less so micro, and uh, still six point chest rig, but for SMG mags. So using sort of a uh, Blue Force gear inspired military grade elastic. This is generally designed more for like paintball and airsoft. And it's designed to hold thicker mags. We just have like extended Glock mags in here, but that's for my Abomination SMG that I've been running lately, and this is pretty much a really lightweight simple setup and you can attach a uh, Pharaoh Concepts dangler Isn't that neat or I guess a lunchbox whatever you really want It has the same sort of like Velcro setup the six point obviously so you can swap out the harness with Anything you want you can pop all these harness bits off and uh, attempt to direct directly attach it You might need a little few pieces just to hold these spare mags the Velcro cuts off between these four mags here so if you're only running like four mags Hey, congratulations! You can have this uh, extra space doing nothing. And uh, yeah, you can just use that as a little uh, four setup placard to throw onto a plate carrier. But if that's not the case, if you're just running the uh, chest ring style, you do have the freedom to throw your backpack on there. It's pretty comfortable. It's got sort of that uh, professional, old school sort of like leather under the arm holster look to it I've always liked. This is the old one, uh, the Zero One harness they make. With their fancy, well, it's not Hypalon, it's one of those really crazy thin, durable materials, but pretty legit extra straps. You just sort of Velcro, uh, electrical tape those down and uh, yeah, keep it up relatively high because it is a chest rig and not a belly rig. And yeah, so not too much to really say about it, which again, I said is going to be a short review. It holds all the mags we got. As far as the Abomination Blaster I was talking about, this is our guy. Made of an AAP-1 Assassin and then an extended barrel. And uh, yeah, so of course, you know, pop that free there and grab us one of these long magazines. So, what makes this submachine gun so great? Well, funny you should ask, it's tiny, compact, weighs nothing, uses Glock mags, and does full auto. Whew! Yeah. Yeah, you gotta love your full auto, so of course I can... You can fit normal Glock mags and stuff in there too, so if you just really, really want to run around with a pistol all day, there's your option too. Um. A little ferro, or not a ferro, uh, yeah, our slingster here. Kind of like ghetto rigged into a one point sling, so really simple. I do like submachine guns, they've always been a favorite of mine, particularly in when you're just dicking around with airsoft and stuff. They're the preferred way to go because you're not generally shooting more than 50 meters anyway with most setups. So, yeah, we got easy, simple little setup, and of course, to keep it fed, we've got plenty of magazines here. And of course, with the way we got the sling set up, you don't even really need the uh stock so much because you just give it that uh, forward push and old like mp5k sort of sling setup easy peasy so if you have a actual cool submachine gun like a mp9 an mp7 i guess it's kind of i guess the scorpion evo i guess it's cool but yeah you can pretty much throw all your stuff on there have a dangler pouch and bam submachine guns are great especially if your job is less so pew 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 and more so getting stuff done. Like that's why they're popular with like tank pilot crews and medics and stuff, so. Now of course you don't need the super long obnoxious setup I got going on. That's just my personal preference for dicking around getting a bit of extended range going on, so. Some machine guns are great. <laughs> they're neutral, but they're pretty great. So if you want to have magazines and stuff, there's your easy setup right there. And if we bought these free here, we'll take a look at the back real quick. Cover a few things. Now they do use all the Detachable clips that come out really easy. You can move around. I don't really need to detach that one, do I? I'm just gonna swim out of this. Hey, the clips are pretty stiff. That it comes with so that one, this one here. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, we're so gonna pop that out. And yeah, so simple harness, little H harness. If you look at the back here, yeah, whiskey two four. And there's our. Was it a panel too? So yeah, they got a little like weird panel set up. Of course our dangler. Dangler pouch down here. Designed in Canada, made in US of A. Before after they stopped making them in Canada for whatever reason. 
And of course, you pull the uh, fabric. You could always put the uh, padded fabric back here, which would be pretty neat. And as you can see, as far as these, these ones aren't uh, slotted to be moved in and out, but they do attach down through here. So you can adjust the height of the buckles, remove the buckles, swap out the buckles with other stuff, whatever you need to get done. And yeah, so you do see there is a good chunk of space. That's where the extra magazine is. So you could add radio pouches and stuff that hangs out underneath that mag so you can still have radios and things going on. So cool setup. You can attach the wings, all your sort of like general stuff there. So simple, easy, neat, and to the point. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. But ultimately, it's kind of like just that Blue Force gear little, what is it, a little elastic setup. And yeah, very simple. Simple, efficient, and yes, if you go inverted, all your mags are going to fall out, slap you in the chin, and be unpleasant, so it's very much a stand-up, maybe crawl sort of chest rig, because you know, the bungee straps, you don't have any Crydex inserts, you definitely don't have any sort of flat to go over the top, so that's all I got for you guys, uh, stay chivalrous, and uh, yeah, a little Rainbow Six Packs patch on there, stay chivalrous, stay Gucci, and uh, most importantly, stay not unalived. Cheers, everyone, see you later.